So first of all, you're going to need to create your speech bubbles. You could use the ones from Auto Shapes, but I like to create my own ones to make them look more realistic. As you can see, they're made of two parts. The original bubble shape and the little hook shape, um, which I'm going to show you how to create. The speech bubble itself, you'll notice, is just a rectangle with rounded corners. You can alter how rounded the corners are. And as you'll see, the smaller the bubble gets, the more rounded the corners need to be. And as they get bigger, the corners are less rounded. Now a little trick that I came up with for creating the little hook is to combine a big speech bubble with a small speech bubble. So what I'm going to do is make the top layer, the bigger speech bubble, uh, and take that away from the original small speech bubble and you're left with this hook shape. I'll show you again. So you click the first one, click on the second one and then you'll go onto my menu and you click on subtract and then basically it just deletes the background, the second image from the first creating this hook shape. And I'm doing the same again here so I'm adding a rectangle to the top so I can just chop off the top so select one, select the other one, and then subtract it, and then you're left with this hook shape. So I'm going to delete the original, and then plant my new one in. And as you can see, it looks very realistic. That's just how I want it to look. So I need to group the two together by pressing Control G. So now you need to select the slide size, make it the same as a mobile phone. So go on slide size, and what I've done is got, I've got the spec from the internet in pixels, and I'm typing it in in px, and it automatically converts that into centimeters for me. And look at that mobile phone shape, mobile phone size. So now everything I do will be to the right ratio. So now you need to write down your conversation. So you must have an idea already in what you want to say in your conversation. But in planting the text into the speech bubble, you need to make sure that it fits perfectly and it uh, looks realistic. So you need to go onto text box and you need to um, alter the margins to make sure that it's spaced correctly. So as you can see, I've gone into format shape and then text box and I'm just moving the top margin downwards so that it moves it towards the, big, the middle of this bubble. I've also aligned the text to the left and changed the colour of the text. So now it's time to animate it. So once you've uh, got all your speech bubbles with everything that you want to say in them, you need to group them all together and from now on you'll be animating the whole conversation as one piece. So I start with a, a grid effect on my screen which is going to help me align everything and I want a little line and this is to help me decide how far I need to animate each bubble. I'm going to use the up animation to make sure it's completely straight and then I'm going to alter the red part of the arrow which is where it finishes to make it just reach the top of that line that I created. I'll delete the line later but it's just for a reference point. So that's the first animation completed and now I need to add another animation to the same design. So again it will be an up animation and I need to make sure that the beginning of the next animation is where the last one finished. Let me explain. This is your first animation and you've got a green starting point and a red ending point. What you need to do with the next animation is drag it all the way up to the top and then align it on top of the previous animation so that when you play them all, each time the animation ends, it's the next animation will follow on seamlessly. And that's what I'm doing here. It's hard to see it because what you can see is the transparent image of where the animation is going to end. 
So you need to make sure that you zoom in close so that you can see what you're doing. I found that with the amount of speech bubbles I was using, it was, a, it was enough really. If I had done any more, it would become quite difficult and the computer started to slow down. So about eight to 10 speech bubbles. So once you've done a few uh, animations, as you can see here, you need to make sure they're aligned perfectly, hence why I've got a grid effect in the background to make sure that um, they, they don't wander from side to side. If you're not zoomed in enough, then it's hard to align things correctly. So I recommend that you zoom in nice and close when you're doing your animations. It does take a bit of time, but the, um, the overall effect is, is quite satisfying. So I'm just coming towards the end of the animation now. So what I need to do now is select after previous. So each animation will start after the last one is finished, but then I'm adding a delay. The delay at the moment is just half a second and I'll probably make that change later. I do want a smooth end because I want the animation to look um, quite realistic. And so I'm going to play around with the delay time, the duration time, te generally text messages and speech bubbles arrive quite swiftly. Um, and I'm also adding a sound background, which you can choose to get rid of, or you can select your own, especially if you've got your own sounds on your computer that you can use. I've just used a basic clicking sound, um, but it, it, it gives you the idea of what's possible. You'll probably want to increase the um, gap between each animation, especially for um, larger pieces of text, because you want the reader to re be able to read uh, what you've written. Um, so sometimes just a second in between animations is, is not enough. So next you need to save what you've created as a video. So once you've done that, you need to find a background image and then import that video into the screen and just resize it so that it fits perfectly. Now the background image I found on a website which, send, which gives you free images and I'll leave a link to that website in the description below. And this is the overall effect. I hope this has been useful to you. Please leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks very much.